one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Another episode of Catch Not Fish. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is a DIY that I completed. Now, when keeping native fish, such as channel, channel catfish, brown bullheads, warmouths, bluegills, it's exciting, it's fun, it's not that hard, it's easy, but they are very dirty. And keeping a clean tank, clear water, healthy parameters, very hard. Now, you can use a gravel vacuum system, which sucks the debris out, and as well as sucking the water out at the same time, but it, it takes a long time. So, upon research, what I have done, I have tweaked the vacuum system and I added a power head. If you check it out here. Now, this power head that I had, I had in a bin with miscellaneous items because I have purchased various lots of aquarium items and the aquarium items that I have uh, accumulated over time they serve different purposes but in this case I already had I already had the actual power head that I use for this product so this is a submersible pump or a power head a pond pump and so forth this was a gravel that I already had. Now, I could include the part numbers and such, but the reason why I'm not is because this power head actually did not have the grooves for this 3 4 inch piece. So, basically what I did, I cleaned the surface of this power head and I attached this piece just with some PVC cement. So it's not even an actual thread or actual groove for this piece to work into or sit. So basically I just fabricate, I, I just cleaned it pretty good. I cleaned both the power head and this 3-4 connection and I just seated it on the power head and I applied three coats of PVC cement and that's all I did. So I could include part numbers, I could include the actual model number, but in this case I just wanted to show you a simple DIY that I did very quickly just to help the process of keeping my, my tanks clean as I have worked numerous days once again it's like I'm working so many days it's like man so when I come home it's like I, I really don't feel like cleaning all these tanks but upon research this is something that I have created all right youtubers get me rolling all right check it out so as you can see I have a power head I have a three-fourths connection. This is a three-four adapter to a three-four to bar that's connected to a three-four inch hose. And I modified the actual gravel back cylinder. I just cut it in half. And I have a piece of filter, poly filter that's going to catch the particles in the fish tank. Now, in a traditional gravel bag, it's just going to use gravity to suck the debris off the bottom of the tank out. Now, doing this, it is going to take the debris out as well as take water out. But with this 
set up. The power head is going to forcefully suck water through the pollen filter, which is going to catch, and it's going to shoot the water back out. So this is an example when you're just cleaning the debris up from the tank, as you can see here. It's been two days since I cleaned this tank, and as you can see, the debris waste particles, it builds up pretty quickly. Now you can have expensive, powerful filtration, or you can clean your fish tank often. That's one reason why I like the bare bottom aquariums because it allows you to enjoy large predator fish, native fish, and you don't have to really deal with uh, the, the water uh, issues that you have with having gravel because the gravel holds the dirt particles waste, uneaten food, you can see it, you can just suck it right up. So, so as you see, as I plug up the power head, the power head is sucking through the traditional gravel vac, the poly filter that I have inside the cylinder is picking up the particles. And one of the reasons why I love this DIY is because I don't have to worry about adding water or this is just a quick aquarium cleaning. It's getting all of the debris from the bottom of the tank. I like doing quick tank cleanings like this instead of waiting until it accumulates and becomes a big project to deal with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do half of this tank. Look, see all that? Look, can you see how I second it right up? Now look guys, this is a simple DIY. This was a power head that I had in a bin in my garage. I took a 3 4 inch PVC connection. I used PVC cement to glue it to the power head or a pond pump. Whatever you have or whatever you get, you can modify it, you can fabricate it. So you can fabricate it to whatever power head or pond pump that you have. This was a, a gravel vac that I had for cleaning aquariums. I believe this 3 4 inch connection, this 3 4 inch connector, the 3 4 inch to bar, these three pieces were if $2 and I purchased it from Lowe's. And like I said, I could include the part numbers, but you're going to be using what submersible pump or pond pump that you have and if you see that connection here it did not even fit or screw what I did I just cleaned it with alcohol I made sure it was free of debris and I applied three coats of PVC cement and that's how that connection is sitting there The power head, the pump is sucking forcefully through this filter. This filter is catching the debris. Look at that. You getting it, baby? I'm trying to.
And like I said, I cleaned this aquarium roughly two days ago. I believe it was two days ago. And I just try to do this quickly. Just to keep it clean. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what it accumulated in roughly one minute of cleaning on the bottom. See, all I do is unplug. Take this device out. The cylinder. This was 18 inches, and I just cut it in half. Like I said, you can modify it exactly how you want. Look at this. Look at what it accumulated. And as you can see, this is just a piece of filter mesh material. You can constantly reuse and just place it directly back in the cylinder and you just reattach it. Like so. And when you place your gravel vat back in the water, you just want to make sure you prime it, get the air out. See the air escaping? And you just plug it up. And when you plug it up, the power head or the submersible pump is going to be sucking debris off the bottom As you can see, it's accumulating. Chase Miss Pretty Dream. That's not wasting the cut. Fishing brings me so much joy. But the reason why I wanted to start this channel is because of catching fish. Because for me, I mean, I just remember the memories that I have, and I want to tell you so many memories that I have of fishing and catching fish and the stories. And I just want to do a quick DIY on how I keep my aquariums clean with the power head, with some simple fabrication with the uh, PVC pieces. Now, funny thing is, you probably could find a three, four inch connection to bar. But if you look online, those connections are like eight, nine, ten dollars. And, and just by me getting the three pieces, it was less than two dollars, two dollars. So it's like, sometimes just do your research. Sometimes, also if I ever wanted to add like a ball valve to keep the pump primed or if I ever wanted to extend it, I can with this three four inch uh, connector here because I could just unscrew this add a piece or unscrew this. All right, YouTubers. One swipe of my net in the ditch is what I have. Check 
it out. That bad boy. I just cleaned the tank. <laughs> Let's see if they hit it. See, this is one of my tanks that I use to hold bait fish, and mosquito fish. And I have tubes with a cubby hose. And crayfish. As you can see, this this is an example of the purposes of using the PVC cubby hose. As you can see. For whatever reason, a crayfish decided to molt. Not in the cubby, but there you can see he, he, he got eaten. Because when the crayfish molt, they molt from their shell and they become soft like gummy bears. But if they're exposed out in the open, they're gonna get eaten. <laughs> and I guess he, he, for whatever reason, he didn't Think that hey, let me go hide somewhere up in there and hope he decided to do it out in the open. So, check him out right there. We're just chilling. All right, YouTubers, I love you guys. I appreciate everything that you have done. If you have any comments or questions, Drop a comment below. Also, please click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. And remember, we're going to catch, not fish. <laughs>